Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make tandoori sweet corn. Very easy and tastes fantastic. Let's get started. For this recipe, we need two sweet corn, I mean sweet corn on the cob. I'm not using kernels, we are going to use the cob. Remove the husk. These days, these sweet corns are very easily available in the market. Heat some water and bring it to a boil. Make sure you take a large vessel or a large karhai to fit in the corn. Add 2 to 3 teaspoons salt. It sounds more but it would be just enough for the corn. Drop in the corn cobs. Add more water if required. Cover your utensil leaving a little space and boil for 15 minutes. Or if you have a big pressure cooker to accommodate the corn, you can add the corn in that pressure cooker and cook for 2 whistles. Once they are done, take them out. Now let's prepare the marinade. Take a bowl and add 2 tablespoons plain yogurt that is plain dahi. Whisk it a bit using a whisk or a fork. And once it becomes smooth, add 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 2 pinches of turmeric, 1 4 teaspoon roasted cumin powder, 1 4 teaspoon garam masala, 1 to 1.5 teaspoon red chilli powder. If you're using spicy, add around half teaspoon. 2 teaspoon mustard oil or your regular cooking oil and some salt. If you eat mustard oil then add mustard oil, it tastes fantastic in this recipe. And then add around 1 teaspoon lemon juice. Mix till everything is well combined. Next I am going to add half teaspoon of my homemade beetroot powder. It's an excellent organic red food color. Do not substitute it with artificial red food color. If you do not have it, just skip it. That's okay. Now I am going to apply this marinade onto the corn cob using a silicone brush. If you have a silicone brush, use it. It would be very easy for you to apply the marinade. Or you can just wash your hands well and use your fingers to apply the marinade. After applying the marinade, let the cob sit for 5 minutes. Now place a roti or chapati mesh on your burner. Make sure you choose the smallest burner. Place the corn cobs. Even if you are planning to make more than 2, roast only 2 at a time. Rotate them and move them back and forth in the process to get even charring because we have flame only in the center. Apply some melted butter towards the end. Application of butter would result in smoke and that would give your corn cobs a very nice smoky flavor. So apply butter towards the end and serve the corn right away. Before serving you can apply a little more melted butter. Sprinkle some chaat masala and some lemon juice. You can also add some chopped coriander. Tandoori sweet corn turns out amazing. It has that tandoori flavor. It's juicy and flavorful. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy.